Level up OSX with these 8 mountain lion tips and tricks. C.M. Smith a technologist and writer who shares advice on personal productivity. Creativity and how to use technology to get things done. Read full profile. OSX Mountain Lion is the next step in making a traditional desktop operating system more like iOS. Some call it iOSification while others call it annoying and not needed. Personally, I like the direction. But just because Apple thinks something in your OS should be a certain way, doesn't mean that it has to be. And what's awesome, is that Apple has relented on some of Lion's changes to appease the power user. Here are 8 Mountain Lion tips and tricks to make this the greatest version of OS X yet. What a weird subheading. Apple has been trying to change what users think the document model should be in operating systems. On iOS we don't really ever see files, unless you are a serious Goodreader user. So why not make OS X the same? Right. Well, many power users were upset about this change. So instead of doing a hack. You can get back save as by simply pressing the option key, when you are in the file menu of an application. Or, better yet, you can use the shortcut option plus shift plus command plus s s. You are trying to get things done right. Not so easy when you have the new notification center blaring down your right side. Rather than go into system preferences and cleaning up your notifications. Quickly turn it off by holding option and clicking on the notification center icon in the menu bar. There are a couple of annoyances that happened in Lion that can be cleared up in Mountain Lion. That is, if you are as annoyed as I am by them. One was the weird behavior of scroll bars. To keep your scroll bars from disappearing go to system preferences greater than general and choose always under show scroll bars. Also, you can change the behavior of the scroll bar when you click on it in a long document. Instead of only jumping to the next page. You can jump to the proportional spot in the document that you clicked on the sidebar. One more for the general settings. Instead of Mountain Lion saving all of your changes for you automatically. You can turn that off and have the familiar pop-up when you are closing a document when you haven't saved. Also, you can revert your changes since the last time you saved. Are you a social media nerd? Well, it's easy to integrate Flickr, Vimeo and Twitter by simply going to system preferences greater than mail contacts, and calendars and selecting which one you want. Boom. After you add your accounts you can then use Twitter right in Safari and upload videos and pictures from iPhoto to Vimeo and Flickr. The Notes app is new to OS X with Mountain Lion and it's basically as you would expect, pretty much a copy of the iOS version. Oh. Other than the fact that it's basically a rich text editor on OS X. You can insert lists bulleted, dashed, numbered, aligned text change to any number of system fonts, and much more. Another couple of nice touches are that you can add photos to a note by simply dragging them into the current note. Pictures don't currently sync with iOS, but maybe that's coming in iOS 6. Also, you can organize your notes by folder on your Mac by going to view greater than show folders list and then right clicking on the folder bar and choosing new folder. Mail isn't necessarily my favorite email application. But it has gotten much better over the last two iterations of OS X. A new addition is the inline search function in mail. Simply go to a message and hit command plus F, F to enter inline search mode. You will now have a tiny search box above your message and it works a lot like searching in a web page in Safari. Something else that works surprisingly well for me is the new iCloud tabs in Safari. All you have to do is sign into iCloud and enable Safari in iCloud settings. You can now see all of your open tabs on your other signed in and enabled devices. Another annoying trend, depends on who you ask, is how Apple is trying to make everything look like the real thing, skeuomorphism. This can be a problem when you want to see all of your data and not some little tiers of paper or a page flipping. But I digress. In contacts you can get your groups back by simply going to view greater than groups or one. Also. In calendars you can see your calendar lists by going to view greater than show calendar list. What are some tips you have picked up over the last couple of weeks with Mountain Lion? If you have any, make sure to share them with us in the comments. A technologist and writer who shares advice on personal productivity. Creativity and how to use technology to get things done. Nat Eliasson Nat is the founder of the marketing agency Growth Machine. He shares lifestyle tips on Lifehack. Read full profile. Do you want to keep a budget, but aren't sure where to start?
Or maybe you have your money in a few different places and want an easy way to keep an eye on it all. We scoured the web and app stores to find the best money management app so you can dive in. Start saving money. And live more financially secure. 1. Mint. Mint is a great app for seeing where all of your money is on all of your devices. It can track your bank accounts, credit cards, and even investments. You can also use it to plan budgets and future expenses. But its main focus is on giving you a financial overview. You need a budget, YNAB, is a great tool for setting a budget and sticking to it. YNAB is nicely designed and gives you a clear report of where your money is going. As well as tools and four rules for budgeting to help you save. Spendy is a budget and expense tracker with a heavy focus on design. Spendy is truly beautiful and does a good job of showing you where all of your money is going and how you can adjust course. The only downside is that you'll need to manually enter your transactions. Expensify is perfect for the business traveler who wants to easily create expense reports of where he or she is spending money. You can do things such as take pictures of receipts. Track your time. Log any distances traveled. And print it out whenever you want to for expense reporting. Budge is another good app for helping you watch your budget. And it's geared towards college students and other people on more strict monthly incomes. If you're a student trying to make sure you stick within a certain allowance. This is a great app for you. Dollarbird is a personal finance app that focuses around creating a calendar of your expenses to give you a high-level view of your expenditures as well as predict big expenses that will come up in the future. It's great for making sure you have a macro-level view of your financial situation. The Pocket Expense app is an alternative to Mint. It gives you an overview of all of your accounts and expenses. And helps you keep everything in check without too many bells and whistles. Toshal is a fun, personal financial management app that has many of the features of the other apps on this list. And adds in fun animated characters to make it more interesting. It's also one of the few to also have an app for Windows phones. Budget Boss is interesting because it learns your spending habits. And in addition to helping you make a budget, it can predict your spending over time in order to let you know where you'll likely be at financially in the future. It's great for helping you adjust course from spending too much of your money. Those are our top 9 picks for great budgeting tools. But ultimately the most important thing is that you have some sort of money management system. Keeping track of our money is important for ensuring that we're on track for all of our financial goals. Text source, lifehack.org.